Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. When the cool little Mazda MX-5 Miata arrived for 1990, it immediately triggered a host of imitators and sparked a genuine global roadster revival. While that fad has faded, America's love affair with the MX-5 has stayed strong, and we're pretty sure we know why. The 2024 Mazda MX-5 Miata is probably one of the most recognizable cars on the road, and it has a way of putting a smile on our faces every time we see one, not to mention any time we get a chance to hop behind the wheel. The Miata concept really hasn't changed drastically over the last three decades, proof that Mazda got the formula right from the beginning. Rear wheel drive, minimal weight, tight suspension, wheeling engine, superb manual shifter, simple folding top, and just enough creature comforts to make long drives as pleasant as carving up back road twisties. An overload of power has never been part of that equation, and many may still decry the lack of horsepower, but just a reminder, this car was meant to rekindle the spirit of British roadsters from the 1960s, they were a pure joy to drive and had engines half as powerful as what the Miata works with today, which is a naturally aspirated 2-liter I-4 with 181 horsepower and 151 pound-feet of torque. A six-speed manual transmission remains the standard. You must upgrade the top Grand Touring trim to even get the available six-speed automatic. And it all works together to deliver a joyful driving experience that few other vehicles can match. The exterior design has gotten more purposeful and less cartoonish over the years. New for this year is updated lighting, which now incorporates the LED DRLs into the headlight assembly, as well as a more cohesive design for the full LED taillights, plus some fresh wheel choices. Continual upgrades under the skin, too, with a new asymmetrical limited slip differential for all manual equipped Miatas. Its purpose is to minimize oversteer. And if you think that means it's less fun, you'd be wrong. It was still a blast to dart through the handling course at our Mason Dixon test track and on the autocross circuit at Summit Point Motorsports Park. Minimal body roll and perfectly neutral handling had us scooting through the turns with ease. Kinematic posture control was added back in 22, using selective braking to tighten up cornering. Adding to it for 24 is a new steering rack and updated software for the electric power-assisted steering that provides better on-center feel and more precise control. Seven seconds to 60 miles per hour won't exactly get your blood pumping, but it's plenty adequate for the Miata's mission, and the engine sounds great for a four-cylinder. The perfect feel and action of the shifter keeps you looking for reasons to shift gears. But keep those engine revs above 6,000 for the most power. We did, and our best quarter mile was 15.4 seconds at 92 miles per hour. Our average braking distance of 118 feet from 60 miles per hour may have been a little longer than we're accustomed to from a performance car these days, but their predictable and fade-free nature will give you plenty of confidence at your next track day. Things remain all business in the cockpit, with everything falling readily to hand and comfortable seats locking you in place. The most notable change in here for 24 is a bigger infotainment screen, growing from 7 to 8.8 .8 inches. Government fuel economy ratings with the manual are 26 city, 34 highway, and 29 combined. That's a slightly better than average energy impact score of 10.3 barrels of annual oil use with 5 tons of CO2 emissions. Starting price is only $30,170. Top Grand Touring goes for $35,470. It's true that the Mazda MX-5 Miata has barely evolved over the years, but fortunately for all of us, virtually all of the ways that it has changed have been for the better. Yet even in 2024, 
it remains incredibly affordable. It has been such a constant presence and passion for so many of our MotorWeek staffers over the years, it seems like it has been around for a lot longer than just three decades. And thankfully, it looks like there's no slowing the Miata down. <laughs>